Hi, Scott. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's a bit of a weird time in the UK, of course, but uh, we're all we're all doing very well. Congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very creepy and very scary is what we like. Um, Naomi, I wanted to start with you if I can. I mean, you've been in a few of these these you know genre films before. Uh, what was it about this one that kind of spoke to you? Because it it does feel a, like a a movie that there's a lot of twists and turns that are kind of out of what people might be expecting. Yeah. Well, that's always interesting right away um, when the audience has to, you know, think a bit deeper and follow a, a whole lot, you know, more with more presence of mind. Um, and to the point where hopefully the audience is drawn in enough that they can go back and watch it a second time and track things that they may have missed along the way, like little hidden clues. Um, you know, the remake world seems to be one that I've experienced um, more than a couple of times now. Um, and I, I definitely wrestled with the idea because of that, but I felt like the the, the original was so compelling. Um, but Matt had an idea of how to make it his own um, his own film and reduce the the uh, the gore factor um, and elevate the the psychological aspect of it and so I felt you know also because I'd had a, a multitude of great conversations with him that made me trust him that it was uh, worth exploring and of course working with the mask you know was a particular challenge. Um, but sometimes when you have those kind of hardcore limitations and rules, you can find extraordinary freedom within that construct. And um, and so things like my whole body, you know, the physicality became really important. And of course, the eyes were my most powerful tool. Um, so that was something new for me. Yeah. And Cameron and Nicholas, I mean, working together again, obviously, cast as twins. I mean, you're going to get pigeonholed one day. Um, I have to say, you two together are, are fantastic. How did you find the experience of going from something like you did with Big Little Lies to this, which is a little bit more intense? Did you find that uh, quite an easy thing to, to fit into? Mm, um, I know, I mean, we've done a lot of things as twins before. Um, so we are very familiar with the work ethic um, that goes into it. But... Definitely took like preparation though. It did. It definitely took preparation mm -hmm. for the because um because it was like definitely different than like Big Little Lies or like like um, the other stuff that we've done. Yeah, the things we've done as twins. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. I mean, there was a lot more emotional and um you know really just stressful scenes that we had to do. Um, but um I think we prepared for it um pretty well and it. Honestly, I think it it turned out it turned out really nicely. Um, yeah, it, did, it was a bit challenging, but we did um, get through it. Yeah, and I guess now you've had Nicole and Naomi as mums, you need to at some point work with Margot Robbie, right? You need to like get the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Wish we had longer, uh, but good luck with the movie. Hope it goes well for thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!